practical tutorial number 18 is on measurement of SWR and it's also competency 18 as well. Let's have a read of uh, competency 18, measurement of SWR. <clears throat> the middle column is the method. Preferably with the use of an amateur radio station connected to an antenna, the candidate should demonstrate the ability to make simple SWR measurement. This task may be completed off-air with simulated mismatch loads. Candidate should be able to disclose to the assessor if the reading obtained is satisfactory, that is equal or less than 1.5 to 1. The task should be repeated two to three times. And the performance criteria on the right hand column, the candidate demonstrates the correct technique including identification of transmission if conducted on air for making simple SWR measurement candidate is able to interpret if the reading is within acceptable limits, that is the SWR is 1.5 to 1 or less. Not a very hard competency this one. The SWR meter that I suggest that you tell the assessor that you know about is the cross needle SWR meter. That's hit here in the top of the slide. Before we look at it, I'm going to talk about the placement of the SWR meter. The SWR meter should be between, I need a different colour, excuse me. The SWR meter should be straight after the transmitter and before the ATU. And the ATU would be connected to the antenna. The really good thing about a cross needle type SWR meter is that it requires no adjustment. The, it has, uh, it's a power meter as well and, and the bottom instrument, and so does the top one, has a 20 watt range, a 200 watt range and a 2 kilowatt range and it can be switched to measure average or peak power and these meters are available for BHF, HF and UHF. So there's the placement. If you're going to be testing SWR online, on air I should say, you need to do competency 10 and that is make sure you do the protocols prior to transmission. Every time you transmit you must do the protocols prior to transmission. I'm just going to zoom in on this slide a little bit and show you the cross needle SWR meter. So the only connections to it is transmitter in and antenna out. So our antenna's there, and the connectors are on the back, and that goes to the transmitter. And if you had an ATU, of course, the ATU antenna tuning unit would be placed after the SWR meter. If you tell the assessor that you're familiar with this type of meter, he will probably say to you, well, describe the operation to me of the meter that you're familiar with and, and he'll mark you competent on that. The really good thing about the cross needle SWR meter is that it has no adjustments. You have a power scale, 20 watts, so if it was on the 20 watt scale this would measure 0 to 20 watts. That's your forward power there, 0 to 20 watts. On the 200 watt scale it's 0 to 200 watts. And on the 2 kilowatt scale, it's 0 to 2,000 watts. So measuring power is as simple as looking at where the needle comes to when you're transmitting on that scale. That's your transmitter power. If you're using SSB, you would adjust your mic gain control to adjust your power output. This other scale is the power reflected from the antenna back to the transmitter. If there isn't a perfect match, between the transmission line and the antenna, some of the power will be reflected back and that will be measured on this scale. That's your reflected power scale. See the word reflected there? And on this side, that's the forward power. So that's measuring how much power you transmit. And this one on the right hand side, there's two needles, one needle there and one here. And when you transmit, this needle will come up and it might measure if that was the 
200 watt scale that would be 50 watts and the other needle will come up and measure your reflected power in this case it's one watt where the needles cross is the SWR so see this red scale behind the two needles where the needles cross is your SWR I'm just going to make that a little clearer and make my pen size a little bit smaller suppose this needle on transmit came up to here so we're transmitting on the 200 watt scale 120 watts and suppose this needle came up on the reflected power there to 1.2 watts of reflected power well where they cross this point here you read the red lines under the where they cross and that tells you your SWR and an SWR of 1.5 to 1 or less is absolutely acceptable. There's almost no difference between an SWR of 1.5 to 1 and 1 to 1. It's a fool's errand to adjust, make adjustments to come down much lower than 1.5 to 1. So that's the cross needle SWR meter. There are other types. I would tell the assessor that's the one you're familiar with. Uh, the description of how the other type works is in the foundation manual. That's the end of uh, competency number 18.